hi guys welcome back to the channel i am nisha for those who are tuning in for the first time hey and of course for those who already been here you already know what's up what it do baby boobs welcome and welcome back to the channel today we're going to do a quick shop my stash because it's a little bit of a twist in it so i'm gonna get right into it so so ulta beauty is rebranding relaunching repackaging the whole entire collection so i had to do uh i had to do one of my sponsored videos and i felt like this was the perfect timing to do a full-on ulta beauty collection week because i'll be honest i don't have any ulta beauty products i feel like i never checked for this brand not due to it being bad or good i think honestly why i never looked into buying anything from ota beauty collection was the packaging like i really say this i say this and this is such an important thing when it comes to branding packaging is such a staple point when it comes to a branding i feel like if you don't have something that's going to grab people's attention it's going to get looked over so I went into my collection just to see if I had any Ulta Beauty stuff in general and I only came across three items. So this is the old packaging of Ulta Beauty. It's very gray, it's very, I won't say dark, but it gives off kind of like a classic look, but it's like, it, it was definitely time for rebranding. So I have the matte primer, which is a travel size, which I've already tried before, love it. I have the foundation which I have on right now. You guys will have to hear the details about this foundation when I when I showcase this video. And then I had one concealer from O2 Beauty as well. And again, this is the old packaging. Everything was gray and beige. Now with the new revamped package, I did get sent over a couple of things from O2 Beauty. But later on today, because I'm filming this the night before, but today by the time you guys see this, I, I will be at work. I'm going to be purchasing full on full face of more rebranding of Ulta Beauty stuff so be on the lookout so this look right here I did as much as possible with the stuff that they gave me and the stuff that I have and you guys will get more detail about those products when I reveal this video so stay tuned so I'm going to be doing a little bit of Ulta Beauty everything this week so this is a full-on Ulta Beauty week so we're going to be trying out everything from the makeup line more primers foundations concealers setting powders pressed powders bronzers eyeshadow palettes like everything i'm going to be trying out for this week so there might be a lot of or a few of youtube shorts just trying out products so be on the lookout for that but i am going to have more detailed videos of me talking and show you guys the things that you know that i bought and played with so really quick before i get into what we're also going to be doing this week because it's not just ulta beauty week i had to add a little bit of something else to this week as well so let's do a quick recap of the looks that i did do last week um i think i picked out a total of seven palettes i only utilized my mind is saying five but i think i located six so here is the looks that i achieved and created um i did a poor job on editing my videos last week because one of my kids was sick so my attention distraction was everywhere and focused on my child so everything's back we're good but yeah <laughs> you get what i'm saying right okay so ulta beauty did send over a box i had this box for over a month now i had to keep a secret i couldn't tell nobody but i've been having these products for the longest and i was so impatient and so excited to try these things out so i'm glad that i finally get to try these items out now so there's a few makeup items in there and of course some skincare products as well so ulta beauty is not just makeup focused they have skincare products as well so I'm excited to try everything. Like when I say we tried everything, we're trying everything. So also what I'm going to be adding into this week because if I'm not mistaken, because we don't have everything at my location. So not all of the Ulta Beauty eyeshadow palettes is available to purchase. So to add a little bit more flavor and everything to this week, I decided since I have on a purple nail set and you guys love purple eyeshadows on this channel, like we're here and I feel like I get a lot of compliments when I wear purple. We're going to make it a purple eyeshadow week as well so yay so the palettes that i did pick out i did pick out more than seven so i may not be able to play with all of these palettes but so far this is what i picked out for the purple theme week so right on top we got the hank and henry this is the lilac palette and this is what she looks like 
Next we have the Crown Case Notepad Palette. This is like one of my favorite purple theme palettes. Next we have Anastasia. This is the Nervina Palette. And believe it or not y'all, I've never used this eyeshadow palette before. So this is going to be new to me to try. But it's been in my collection forever. I have a couple looks already using both of these palettes from Juvia's Place. So I decided I want to combine these two together and create another purple themed look. So that is what we got for Juvia's Place. We have the Nubian Royal and then of course the Violets. And then let me show you guys what they look like just in case you're not familiar with this. Here is Royal. And then here is Violets. Next, I have the Cosmic Brush It. This is the Gothic palette. And then this is what she looks like. I feel like this purple theme has a little bit of like burgundies and pinks in it. So I love to switch up and have like a different variety in here. And then last, which I, I think this might be my last pick, but this is the Glam Light and Wine palette. This again is another one of my favorite, favorite purple theme palette. And then what I had on the maybe list, because like I said, I picked out too many palettes and I, I'm trying to remember how many palettes I might get from the Ulta Beauty collection. I had the Fleur palette from Ace Beauty and then I have the It's My Pleasure palette from ColourPop. Let me know if you guys would like to see a look from either one of these palettes or both. I try my best to squeeze them, but I will most likely would like for you guys to at least vote or see I have enough already to pick from. But I know a lot of you guys have, you know, eyeshadow palettes as well. So my thing is I try to come back here and give you guys as many looks as possible with eye with eyeshadow palettes that you might already have in your collection. So I'm just trying to see what we got what we got together to, you know, kind of be similar with. So and here is what the ace palette looks like. I kind of ideally really want to play with this one over the color pot because I don't think I've used this before. I want to say I used it maybe once. Yeah, once. But if I had to pick between the two, I feel like this one might be a little bit better. But y'all let me know. Y'all vote. This one, this one, or neither. But yes, yeah, so a lot of purple makeup looks is coming your way. And of course, some Ulta Beauty review of products. So be on the lookout. I'm super excited for these things to come about. And also later on tonight, there will be a YouTube short of something. I'm not going to say what. Might be a makeup tutorial. Might be a product review. I don't know. So be on the lookout. But thank you guys so much for watching. This is pretty much how we're going to wrap up this video. You guys have a beautiful day. Stay blessed. Stay amazing. And I'll see y'all tomorrow with another video. Bye guys.